What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. And we've got our National Guardians. They are now available, Lillian Toram, Vieira, and of course, Xabi Alonso. So lads, let me know what you guys think of these players. I know a lot of people have been waiting for Patrick Vieira. A lot of new players actually have contacted me and said, you know, when's Patrick Vieira coming? When is the daddy coming? And he's also coming with daddy number two, Lillian Toram, double booster. Now listen, we already have Toram and Vieira, but these are definitely going to be insane cards. I've had Toram for a while. I think he's probably the best right-back, centre-back hybrid in the game. Obviously, Xabi Alonso's a bit of a... He's probably, yeah, he's the weaker of the three. Now, he does have some good underrated stats and skills, and he does have visionary pass as well. But I do feel like, obviously, you know, when he's in with the big boys, Vieira, who's literally endgame. Like, you will literally not need to upgrade from Vieira from here on in until eFootball 26 or whatever they do in the future. And it's the same with Toram. I mean, you're literally only splitting hairs between these guys. I know Toram and Vieira are bald, but genuinely, you are only splitting hairs between picking a different player than Vieira midfield because he is he's the ultimate. He is the ultimate, man. He plays way above his stats, even though his stats are absolutely insane. And I think he's probably the most overpowered player in the game currently, especially for where, for where the game plays at, right? And he's also got the trickery, as you see in the trailer there. He's just an absolute beast. So these are ongoing for a week. We're going to show you the best builds for these. Now, I've kind of toiled over this Patrick Vieira build. The one thing with this Patrick Vieira, boys, is that he is an anchorman, okay? Now, compared to his other card that we already have, it's going to be a slight change-up if you are used to playing with the other Patrick Vieira or if you're used to playing with a Destroyer. Now, if you have spun a lot and you have Rijkaard, who's probably the best anchorman in the game before Vieira has released... There's a couple of nice anchormen in the game. Uh, Rijkaard is definitely probably up there. Sorry about my throat as well, lads. Uh, I have a bit of a pain in my throat. But anchorman is definitely a required play style in terms of defense. If you're very aggressive and you try to turn over your op op opposition or your opponent a lot, it's going to be take a little bit getting used to. Now, I have a full video coming on the new meta, which will take anchorman into uh, consideration, specifically for Vieira and Rijkaard. And I'm going to drop that probably tomorrow. We will be doing a live stream as well on an opening and reviews. And yeah, we're going to have a giveaway as well. But this Patrick Vieira, in just a couple of minutes, we will be doing that live update, uh, live stream. But yeah, I do think that Patrick Vieira, boys, he is the daddy, man. Like, if you look at his stats, he's got the hard worker booster. You can give him another booster as well. He has everything. Blocker, interception, aerial superiority and heading. One touch pass and way to pass. Outside curler, fighting spirit. It's just an unbelievable card, right? So we're actually going to show you his build here. So we've gone for a 2 into passing, 7 dribbling, 5 dexterity, 8 lower body, 4 aerial strength, and 14 into defending with 2 into goalkeeper 1, just to bring his jump up a little bit. Now the, the main thing with Vieira, lads, is honestly his defending, right? We're also going to be adding a booster crafter here, if you have it, to maximize his aggression to that 99. Now you don't need to do that. If you want to, you could also add a little bit extra to him. And also on top of this as well, if you find that... Like, this is the thing, right? If you're playing Patrick Vieira as a very defensive player, you can actually have this as his kind of, like, build here and be able to kind of max out his defending with that, right? You can also go the other route if you want to go two more into dexterity and get that balance of 72 and 85, 84 acceleration. I've seen a few people ask me, and I know a few people are going to ask me about having his acceleration at 85. Personally speaking... Unless you're going to be running forward with him, which I don't think you will be with this anchorman, I think his defensive stats are key. He doesn't have Fortress, he doesn't have any of those player skills that Turam has. So I, I feel like you just need to play him straight up for his player AI, his ID, and of course just his overall ability to win the ball back as kind of your last, you know, man in midfield, right? Now we're also going to take a look at Lillian Turam. Now Turam is definitely, probably, definitely, probably, my favourite words. He's probably one of the one of my favorite players to use, lads, as a right back. He's been a mainstay for me in the back three, and probably one of the best defensive fullbacks in the game. Obviously, Araujo and Tommy Ashu will have something to say about that, but I do feel that with Turam, he is operating on a different level over the last couple of weeks, especially with where the AI is at at the moment. Now he's got shut down here as well. We'd probably be giving him another shutdown plus one with his booster. It depends, but again, he has got fortress, acrobatic clearance. The only thing he doesn't have is aerial superiority. Now, I will drop the training guides for these, but I'm going to show you the builds here anyway um, of kind of how he goes up. So we've gone for 5 dribbling, 7 dex, 10 lower, 5 aerial, and 13 into defending. Again, we're going to be uh, increasing with his booster here. 
to max out his defensive stats uh, with defensive awareness going to 95, tackling 99, aggression 95, and his defensive engagement 96. Uh, it's it's going to be a monster card. 95 speed, 90 acceleration, 92 jump. One lack of physical contact stat is not going to make a huge difference to this guy because he is actually quite so you know quite strong and rapid. Um, and also he can dribble with that 85 and 85 header. There's no weakness in these cards, boys. Honestly, man, they're just insane. They really, really are insane. And if you're looking at Turam on top level, top form, he's going to have pretty much everything where you want it to be, including that physical contact at 85. So if you notice somebody, you know, that dominating, it's usually going to be because they've got the top form arrows. So that is something to keep an eye on as well. But as I said, we will be testing out different builds of Turam in the live stream in a couple of minutes. And then last but not least, we do have Xabi Alonso. Now, this is in a box with other players, but this visionary pass Alonso, I definitely recommend you play him as an attack and center midfielder. Kind of like Pedri, kind of like Modric. Not really defending too much, but still being able to kind of win the ball back with that engagement and aggression, okay? So he doesn't have that much about him compared to other orchestrators. I mean, he's just a simple orchestrator. Like, yes, a little bit underrated, but... The dueling plus two is not going to add that much to him because it goes to defensive awareness and tackling, which is probably not the best booster for him. In my opinion, I would have liked to see him a more technical booster. But obviously, he can play DMF as well, which I don't like orchestrators as DMF. He has pretty much every player skill that you could want, but no defensive player skills. And that, to me, is enough to make him kind of be built like this, right? So we'll keep it short and sweet. Four into shooting. That's going to raise his finish into 75. 95 passing. Uh, for low pass and loft to pass is more than enough. To be honest with you boys, I would probably test out a 90 build one here if you want to have a few more points to throw into speed and acceleration. But for this, I know a lot of you guys would want the 95 version of him with the passing. Uh, 7 dex, 39 lower body. You're going to have 83 speed, 80 acceleration. It's not going to be meta, honestly. It's not going to be a meta card, in my opinion. And even the defense. You could get away with having no defense here. If you wanted to go one more into lower body, um, you will have to take that off there to go three into that and then give him the agility booster to raise up this to 85 speed. But it just depends, man, how you want to train him. It's definitely all about Vieira and Toram, to be honest with you. So let me know what you guys think. We will be doing a giveaway on the live stream once we stream today in just a little bit, in probably an hour or so. We'll probably be streaming and hopefully it can help you guys. Whoever wins the giveaway, we'll do a coin giveaway of whoever can win that can be, you know, help spin. And we will have a few spins as well ourselves, hopefully in the hunt for Toram and Vieira. The big question is, will it be worth it over the other two boys? And we're going to find that out later. So I will talk to you a little bit, boys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to catch us out. Catch us out? Catch us in the live stream later. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.